Hi all, Nick Silverstein here, and today we are going to put a Windows XP on a PowerBook G. So let's get started. Now, a disclaimer about doing this is it does not run natively at all. You can't just put the Windows XP disk into your PowerBook and expect it to run. It won't work like that. So you need a piece of software called Microsoft Virtual PC 7. Now it is discontinued and I will provide a download link in the description for it but basically here it is so you just double click on the DMG file and then it loads up on your desktop and then you just hit install virtual PC and then you hit continue 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 agree choose Macintosh HD continue install now this will work on Windows I mean this will work on any actually most G4 Macs and this will not work on any Intel Macs but it will work on any PowerPC G4 Mac. So once you install it, then it launches the program and you hit continue. And you can enter anything here. Uh, and then you just hit continue, continue, and then finish. And now uh, you're at this screen, which you can install your own operating system. So, all you do is, um, once, once you install Virtual PC, then you can eject the disk, and then you just hit install your own operating system, and you hit begin, you hit continue, and you choose Windows XP, if you're using Home, choose Home, if you're using Professional, choose Professional but just choose your operating system and then choose unformatted continue and then create and then start PC and it's not going to be able to boot so you go to drives capture CD image and you should have an image of XP on your G4 computer and you just select the image and then you go to PC and you hit reset let me make sure you can see this so all the menus are up there so you click on your virtual machine and you go to capture CD image and then you go to the desktop and you choose your image and then you go to PC, reset, reset. And now it will start to boot XP. But actually, the first thing you want to do is you want to close that. Uh, so you want to first shut down the virtual PC before you turn it on. And you want to go into settings. Uh, you want to click on your virtual PC click settings and PC memory make sure it's set to 512 and VRAM set it to the max and then that's about it that's all you have to change and when I and then you just click OK and now you hit start up and it should run significantly faster And then it basically boots Windows XP on a PowerBook, an iBook, 
most computers, you know. So, basically, once you get it to boot up, you just install it as if you would any other operating system. Like, as you would install Windows XP on a PC. And, uh, I'll be back once it's done, and I'll show you how to install the drivers. But you just install it as if you would on a regular PC. I'm sure you're familiar on how to install XP. So, once you get to the desktop, now I'll show you how to install the drivers. So, if your mouse is stuck inside of the virtual machine, uh, see, my mouse is stuck, I can't get it out. You just have to press the command key, and then you can release the mouse. And then you just eject your Windows XP disk by going to Drive's Eject Disk. And then you go to PC and install or update add-ins. And then an installer should come up in Windows. Now this will be really slow. Um, it's not going to be as fast as running Windows XP on a, on a computer, on a new computer. Um, it will... Well, not a new computer, but it won't be as fast as running XP on, like, a Pentium 4 or something. It will kind of be like running XP on a Pentium 4 that's a gigahertz, you know. That's the speed you're going to get on here. Because um, my Pentium 4 computer is 2.66 gigahertz, which is pretty fast, you know. So once you once you get this uh installation going okay this copy of XP is very messed up but basically all you have to do is install the add-ons and you're good to go essentially So I'm going to leave you here um I can't do it because there's something wrong with this copy of XP, but it does work. I have tested it before, and uh, basically you have XP installed on your machine, on your PowerBook G4, your iBook G4, and your Power Mac G4. So, and it also it might work on a Mac Mini G4 too. So now we're on my iBook G4. And I just wanted to show you guys that it does work. Um, this will work in a power book. But my power book is not wanting to read my external hard drive. And I had a pre-installed XP on my external hard drive. So, yeah, it didn't want to read it. Uh, so I had to use my iBook. Um, I've been having that problem with my power book where it doesn't want to read external... my this specific external hard drive um but this iBook reads my external hard drive just fine um so this is XP running on a power uh iBook G4 and I just wanted to show that it actually works with the drivers and everything um yeah, there it goes. Now it's in a super high res. But once it, uh, once the screen flashes, uh, well, I mean, once it gets to the desktop, then you'll be able to see XP running fine. Just give it a second. Let me see. That's as bright as it will go. Give it a second. You hear the sound that everyone loves from Windows XP.
and then the screen should flash. Once it flashes, then you can uh, adjust the size of the window. Otherwise, it doesn't auto adjust. Let's see if it's loading. You might just have to make it full screen. There it goes. So that flash. It's really slow because this iBook doesn't have enough uh, memory. But if the iBook had more memory, this iBook has a gigabyte of RAM. Um, I would like to get a gig and a half in here. Um, but this is basically Windows XP running on an iBook G4. Uh, let's see if I can get it to run any faster. I think if you go into CPU usage and you set this to high, it runs a little faster. Give it a second for the right end of the screen to load up. Let's see, maybe if I take it out of full screen. See, now it's adjusting. Yeah, it's really slow. But it does work. Let's see, it's set to max. But that's basically how to install Windows XP on an old uh, G4 processor. So that's about it. Alright. See you in the next video. And probably in the next video, we're going to put Windows 7 on this old iBook but I need to upgrade the RAM first for me to do that alright see ya peace